Hi, this is Trent Silva with The Daily Show. I seem to misplace my press pass, and I cannot get into our originally planned interview with George Bush. But I have managed to sneak into the Secret Service locker room, where I will be interviewing a new recruit named BJ Park. BJ, if you could have dinner with any famous person, who would it be and why? Well, any famous people, famous, famous, famous. Well, there's Teletubby, Barney, Arthur from the cartoon, and there's Big Bird, uh, George W. Bush, Hitler, a whole bunch of other people, but if I had to choose one, Big Bird. Big Bird? And why would you want to have dinner with Big Bird? Uh, I grew up watching him as he was the most influential person in my life, I have to say. Well, that kind of ties in with our next question. Who would be the most influential person in your life other than Big Bird? Other than Big Bird, uh, Barney. Wow. Back to you, Ryan. Yeah, I think it was too. Like, Hitler. Hello, and welcome to The Timely Show. I'm your host, Ryan Cartier. We've got a great show for you tonight, folks. Uh, we happen to have Sean Hegna as our guest. He's coming in from the back in just a few minutes. We'll also have a special piece from my correspondent in Washington who's gotten a rare interview with President Bush. Now, without further ado, I'd like to welcome our first guest, Sean Hegna. Let's give it up for Sean Hegna. Oh, thank you. Thank hey, you. Sean. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing today? So it's my pleasure. Great for you to come with us, Sean. It's going to be great. Well, I'm, just, I'm so thrilled to be here today on your show. I've always wanted to be here, and to be here is just a legend of accomplishments, really. Hey, I know how hard it is for you to travel here all the way from Bangladesh, and I hope you had a nice trip. Yeah, actually, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we, we got to go down, do some, got to work with the young kids a little bit. It wasn't really much of a good vacation, but it was really, it really fulfills. Hey, those are the kind of things that fill you up from the inside out. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to ask you, you know, just a few questions to get a feel for this. Uh, what do you plan to do after high school is over? You know? Well, you know, after high school is over, um, I kind of have a nice little career actually planned out. Um, I plan on going to ASU, U of A, and, um, study a little architecture. I've heard um, ASU has a nice little um, architecture plan there. And then, you know, maybe build a few houses, and then maybe, maybe even build my own. I don't know. Just... It's kind of crazy, if we have enough time, you know. You know, there is nothing like building your own house with your bare hands. I mean, it's it's a feeling that I'd like to feel someday also. Yeah. Let it's me also ask experience. you, oh, oh, I know. Let me also ask uh, if there's one celebrity that maybe you could have dinner with and just check them out, who do you think that would be? Oh, you know, with this one, I'm going to have to go with Bill. Bill. Oh, and by Bill, I assume you mean our former president, Bill Clinton. Oh, but of course, there's no other Bill that I would ever want to sit down at dinner with. I mean, Bill's just so great. He has such a big heart in every way. True, all true. Well, Sean, it's funny you should say that. That's exactly what I would have said if asked the same question. Really? You know, me and Bill actually had a chance to spend some time together, played at Wico Pop, you know, a couple couple weeks ago. Oh, lucky dog, you and Bill. Oh. Bill showed me the old Cuban cigar collection and you know, we just had a good old time, and if you'd like to know a little bit more about Bill, he's doing some charity work right now, and he's speaking at some elementary schools, some D.A.R.E. programs, wow. stuff like that. Yeah, like I said before, he does have a really big heart, and I, I can totally see him getting out there and doing that hands-on, front line. I can see, oh, Bill is such a great man. Hey, Sean, I know you don't have much time, but let me just get you one more question. Yeah, no problem. Uh, who would you say had the most influence in your life so far? Most influence on my life. Besides Bill. Besides Bill. Um, I'm going to have to go with the classic answer on this one, Ryan. I'm going to have to say my dad, uh, Tom Hegna. He's, uh, he's taught me a lot in my life. He's made me who I am today. And he's in the United States Army. And, I mean, he's a lieutenant colonel. He's always there for me. And he's taught me everything I know. And I wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for him. Hey, that's the best answer you could have given, Sean. I'm really proud of you for that. Thank you. Well, with that said, I'd like to now turn to, if we may, my correspondent in Washington, who should have a startling report from the President of the United States of America, George Bush. Trent, what do you have for us today? 